leg up off the mat, high percentage finish rate if the leg's up off the mat, right? There's those guys that are flexible and athletic and tough to take down and you can put their foot on the ceiling and they still won't go down, all right? But again, usually when I got the foot off the mat, my chances are better. I get closer and closer to the mat, that guy has more options, okay? So that's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on getting this guy down to the mat, okay? So what's going to happen is he's going to be in on a single leg, okay? And I'm going to have a closed whizzer on my feet. Now, the difference between closed whizzer on my feet versus on the mat, when I'm on my feet, I have my closed whizzer above my knee. When I'm on the mat, I'm grabbing my sock. Grabbing my sock right here does nothing. Grabbing my knee right here does a lot. And the principle is the same. When I close my whizzer on my feet, I'm cranking my forearm into his armpit, and I'm trying to put his head down to the mat. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to drive into him and push with our shin. I'm driving into him. Then I'm going to circle around behind him, and then I'm going to crank my whizzer. I'm going to drive in, then I'm going to circle and crank. I'm going to drive in, and I'm going to circle and crank. Then after the third time, I'm going to go across his body, reach for the mat, and drag him down. Now, he's going to do one of two things. He's going to take a, a heck of a smash into the mat with his face, all right? Or he's going to let go and post his outside hand, and he's going to start wrestling here. Okay, once I get here, I change to this wizard, okay, and keep his head trapped. He's going to go inside shelf, right there, and I'm going to swim and kick, okay? And we're just combining all these skills together, all right? Combining all these skills together. But what's going to happen a lot of times is as I drag them down and stretch them out, I might be able to turn and face them, okay? I might start giving myself even more opportunities to score. And I have all these opportunities here, these cutbacks and things, but right now I'm inside, leg across, in between, inside. This is my best option. These aren't bad. This is me probably getting taken down by most good guys. Okay, so closed wizard, foot inside. And head, hand, head and hand fighting here is not bad, but I want you to get used to controlling. Driving in, circling, pulling that wizard. This guy be tough, stay on his feet. Drive in, circle, pull. After about two or three, across the body. Don't pull him into you. Reach for the mat. Drag him down. He goes to step and shelf. Swim out. Back to dancing. Good? That's a lot of work for him to do to get nothing. Okay? Aside from him getting to our legs and us winning the takedown, we also got to make sure that he knows anytime he gets my legs, he's got to fight his stones off, and he's still probably not going to take me down. How many single legs is he going to deal with that? before he just says, I'm not shooting any more single legs. And if that's his best attack, what is going through his head right now? My best attack, this guy shuts me down every time. He took me down with it twice, he got away from me twice. That's a bad day for him, right? Play in there, go. Drive in, circle behind.